As creatives, being organized is one of the most valuable characteristics that you can have. It's going to lead to higher paying clients and people that trust you even more to do a job that matters. With this video, we're going to talk about the best video editing and video production folder structure. Let's get it started. Internet, welcome back. It's your boy Robert T. Garden here today talking to you about the best video production folder structure for Mac and PC. If you're new here, welcome. I post content on a weekly basis on filmmaking tips and the business of being a creative. And like I talked about, the organization that you have as a creative is a direct reflection of the types of clients that you can have and even more so the value and money you can make. It took me a while to figure out the exact folder structure that worked for me and more so how to create that folder structure with ease. Today, I'm going to talk to you about exactly what my structure is and how I think it can benefit you. Without further ado, let's pop on into my computer and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Now, as you can see here, we've got a basic folder structure from a hard drive that I've got hooked up to the computer. And you can see that I've got various different folders that I've already created. Now, I use a folder automator for Mac, and I've also created a program in a previous video for PC that creates these folder structures and the directory within two, three clicks. Uh, I'll do a separate video on how to do that for Mac using the folder automation system. But for now, this is the result of those videos. Be sure to check them out on the channel as well. If you're looking here, I'll just use this particular folder structure that we talked about for this video right now, uh, the best folder structure for video editing and production, as I'm sure you've seen by the title of this video that you're watching right now, back to the computer. Uh, I tend to have six folders set up with various subfolders and directories inside of them for a bunch of reasons that I'll go over right now. It starts off with audio and I have music, sound effects, and VO for any dialogue that I capture at a secondary source. Usually in our video productions, what we're doing is running an onboard scratch audio system on the cameras that we're creating. However, we've got a boom and a lav mic for any dialogue and VO that's going on with any of the productions that we have. So having music, sound effects, and voiceover folders keeps everything nice and neat and organized. The second thing we go down to is the folder structure for footage. Now, the way I've structured these things is to have a separate folder for each individual camera system that we're working with on set. And or if I'm using any additional footage or capturing devices like an iPhone or a screen footage or stock footage, any of those types of things, screen footage, I meant screen capture software, uh, I put a folder in there depending on the type of content that we have. So as you can see, there's one for iPhone screen captures, a various assortment of Sony cameras, and that really just helps to keep things organized. Depending on the structure, sometimes it's a very simple shoot, one camera setup, we're ready to go, I just dump it in that particular folder structure. However, a lot of times we're having multiple cameras on set, sometimes up to four cameras, and so I like to label things and keep them organized so I know exactly where those things are coming from. Another trick where footage is concerned is on your camera, most cameras have the ability to have some sort of native file structure that you can help name those particular files so that they show which camera they're coming from, the date that they were created, and whose camera they're using. So I tend to put RMT, which are my initials, the date, and then if I can, I put FX6, FX3, Sony ZV-E10, or the 6600, whichever camera I'm using. The reason that this becomes helpful is that if I'm looking for a particular a piece of footage or a particular set of footage, I can use that date, I can use that camera, I can use those initials to get that thing started. The worst thing is to have a series of C00001 and no additional information on that file. You can use renaming structures in Mac and in PC. However, I just like to do it inside the camera to be able to put it off with ease. So, those are my notes on how I set up my footage structure. And those two things are really important, audio and footage, because as I've shown in a previous video, I just grab those two folders in their entirety and drag them into my editing software, which is Premiere Pro for me personally. And it sets up those folder structures exactly as they sit in my directory. So there's a one-to-one -one ratio mirroring those two environments. My folder structure on my hard drive, my folder structure in Premiere Pro. It's very helpful and it allows me to track things that are going on over time and multiple edits and deliverables, keeping things organized as you probably clicked on this video for. The next one I do is project files. 
Now this one is just a simple folder, just an empty structure. All of my Premiere Pro projects go into this folder. All of the auto saves go into this folder. Another pro tip is if you want to, you can save your auto saves additionally back to the cloud. I mentioned this in a previous video on how we set up our large video files or our large video projects. Really helpful tip there. The next one is motion graphics. So any type of VFX work that we're going to do, particularly for me, that's an After Effects. All of those files and project files go into the motion graphics folder. And the next one we get to is the renders folder. Now renders has three additional subfolders in that directory. There's drafts, there's finals, and there's notes. Uh, the way I tend to structure these things is first versions go into drafts. Anything I send over to the client goes into drafts for first. If it comes back for notes, any of those additional deliverables get put in notes so I kind of know where I am. And once we have the final video that's approved by the client, it goes into that final folder. Now I know that there's that old adage of like the final, 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 final structure, but I try to name my folder structures and have them kind of be consistent so that only the last deliverable sits in final. We tend to not shoot a ton of stills. However, we do so for thumbnails and a couple of different social posts and ads. If there's any still work that's going on, it's going into that last folder, which is stills. Now, again, all of these things get transferred over into Premiere Pro, especially that renders, stills, audio, and footage folders so that there's that one-to-one -one ratio of what's going on. And it really helps keep things nice and seamless and easy to look at. Now, the last thing that I will say about organizing my footage in bins is something that I mentioned in a previous video already, which is labeling my clips per camera so that they're color coded within the project panel as well as my timeline. This is a super useful tip to have because it keeps things nice and organized in terms of which clip came from which particular camera. And so I can help kind of jog my memory on, is this B-roll, is this dialogue, is this from a gimbal camera, is this from a handheld camera? All those things tend to help when I'm looking at my timeline, keeping things organized, allowing me to move quickly and act with efficiency. So that's my quick and dirty way of looking at how to organize footage using these particular folder structures. If you're curious to see how I did this for both PC and Mac, check out these videos down here on how to create those folder directories using Automator and .exe files. And if you haven't already, ring the bell for post notifications. If you like the video, like the damn video, ladies and germs, and subscribe to the channel for more Tea Garden goodness. I'll see you next week for another fantastic video. You've been great. I've been Tea Garden. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to end this video right now.